Punk, Drunk, Boxing, a.k.a. Mr. Moo, shot himself, a.k.a. La Dobo, a.k.a. La Sazon, a.k.a. La Borracho. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I really didn't want to touch on this subject. I really did not want to touch on this subject because I believe people out there is blowing this out of proportion. Um, taking away from the sun, um, the, the, the spotlight on Amanda Serrano performance this past weekend. And people saying that her trainer is trying to take away of, of, you know, trying to take the shine away from the performance. But I do think if people keep on talking about it, keep on talking and keep on talking about the, the media, the, the, the boxing content creators and things of that nature, you know, they ain't taking away from this. They taking away from this, and I do have a different perspective. I do have a different take of, of what transpired um, after the fight, during the fight, from Amanda Serrano's corner. And again, I really didn't want to touch on this subject, but I just believe that my take is kind of different. I see, I see it a little bit different, ladies and gentlemen. This is boxing, y'all. This is boxing. This is not Phantom of the Opera. First and foremost, let's let's let's. Yo, let's talk like we know what sport we're watching. You understand what I'm trying to say? Let me give you a little bit of content here. This is the sport of boxing in which we saw and heard Mike Tyson say to Lennox Lewis, I would like, you know, I will eat, I will eat, I will eat, I will eat your children. This is the same boxing sport that we saw Bernard Hopkins slam the Puerto Rican flag. This is the same boxing that we saw um, um, uh, Mayorga slapping. Um, Shane Mosley's wife's ass. Ladies and gentlemen, this is boxing, y'all. This is not Phantom of the Opera. Now, of course, there is professionalism here. Sometimes when a fighter loses, the camps come together, they shake their hands. And not losers, but after the fight. Win or lose, the camps shake their hands. You know, good fight, good fight, professionalism and things of that nature. Let's not forget, we're talking about a Mexican and Puerto Rican rivalry. Of Mexican and Puerto Rican rivalry, which boxing likes to promote a rivalry, a war that boxing loves to promote leading up to a fight. It is historically a rivalry, right? I just believe that a lot of people was very, uh, it, 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 they felt like it was unpleasant to hear and watch Jordan, who is the train of Amanda Serrano, manager uh, of Amanda Serrano, and, um, you know, um, brother-in-law of Amanda Serrano, people felt that when well, he was screaming at Mercado Mercado's um, corner, and I'm just paraphrasing, he was screaming throughout the rounds, especially the last before the last round, saying to Mercado, come on, Mexicana, where's your balls, where's your balls, and things of that nature. Of course, Fima don't got no balls, but you understand what I'm trying to say, what he was trying to say. And we all feel, of course, watching the fight that Amanda Serrano had that, had that, had that win in the bag already. But of course, they wanted a knockout. Of course, you know, they wanted to steal the show. Let's not forget also that leading up to the fight, leading up to the fight, they was jabbing at each other. Mercado was saying that she was, she wants to be the Juan Marquez to Amanda Serrano, Manny Pacquiao. A lot of people um, compare um, Amanda Serrano as the female Manny Pacquiao being seventh division world champion. And she was stating that she wants to be Juan Manu. Juan Marquez, you know, she wants to do what Marquez did to Manny Pacquiao, knowing that Marquez knocked out Manny Pacquiao cold. So there is there, there was back and forth there, you know. And she and you know, knowing the, the Mexican style, knowing the Mexican style, people know what what, what the the the, the style, the, the the stick to the fortitude of the Mexican style and Mexican fighters, you know, they go, man. They go tooth and nail. You understand what I'm trying to say? The Mexican fighters are the highly most respected, probably the most respected. I'm not going to say the most respected fighter, but you understand what I'm trying to say? They're very respected in their style. Very toe-to-toe, -to -toe, phone booth fighting. They bring the fight to you. That's a that's a compliment, though. You feel me? That's a compliment. So when Jordan in the post-fight interview was going at Mer Mer Mercado's um, camp or Mercado's herself saying... She didn't bring um he was he was shouting you didn't bring the Mexican style. He wasn't shouting, but he was saying throughout the interview, she didn't bring the Mexican style. Um we was expecting a, 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 a Mexican, and that's not the way the Mexican uh, the Mexicans fight. Cause Mercado was, you know, was 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 
you know, moving on the outside and things of that nature, trying to get away from 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 Amanda Serrano's onslaught. And look, Mercado did a, a hell of a job as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she she sustained all those punishments and things of that nature, but she ain't fall, she ain't quit, she didn't complain, she 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 survived. And a lot of girls, you know, that that go up against Amanda Serrano, they they look for survival because Amanda Serrano just got that pressure, got that body pressure, the trying to barbecue everybody's ribs and things of that nature. And Amanda Serrano is the most dangerous and most devastating puncher in probably in in, in, in women boxing history. You understand? But Mercado was trying very, very hard. And everybody congratulates her effort, including, including um, Amanda Serrano, who, who is a constant professional, who don't, you know, play into the, the disrespecting of opponents and things of that nature. That's not her. That, that, that's not what she want to be. Even in, in a recent interview, in a recent interview I did have with her, I was like, man, I want to see the Serrano that she going at, she going to talk shit and things of that nature. That's not her. And that's not what she wants to represent. She represents the, 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 the she want to be, a, she's a hero. She's a role model to those little girls that's looking up to her and she's not going to play in it. She don't feel like she needs to jab at somebody, talk that ish and things of that nature. That's not the way she want to promote herself. That's not the way you want to represent herself Right Now A lot of people felt And I think where a lot of people feel Where they are um, You know mad at Jordan I think they're mad at Jordan And more so because they see it as It's females that he's jabbing at the female Let's not forget this is boxing again Alright let's not forget this boxing I'm going to tell you like this folks Women Especially the fighters. The last thing they want and the last thing they look for is some pity. Pity because they're females and they're fighters. That's not what they look for when they're fighting. That's not what they look for when they're fighting from anybody. From, 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 from male or female. That's not what they're looking for, ladies and gentlemen. Then this, this car in front of me is going highly slow. My man, I know it's raining, but shit. But that's not what they're looking for. So Jordan is jabbing at him, and I can't, and I don't know. You know, the microphone was Amanda Serrano because she was having a post-fight interview. So I don't know on the other side what the other person was telling her. You know, look, ladies and gentlemen, after the fight, that doesn't mean that we got to be friends. That doesn't mean, remember, there's a build-up to the fight. It's leading up to the fight. And sometimes people just stay within the build-up. Like, nah, nah, nah. The build-up are probably too serious. People just said words that they just don't want to, they, they don't want to shake hands. They don't, they don't give a damn. Um, a lot of people feel like he was that that Jordan was pressuring because he wanted a knockout because of course we want the Katie Taylor fight. She, we want a man, uh, uh, people want a man Serrano to get the, the the type of respect and the type of uh, um, exposure and the type of highlight. You know they wanted to do the show so you know she could get that type of you know bring that cachet so she could get that fight with Katie Taylor and get paid the way that she she feels and everybody everybody that knows Amanda Serrano and see the way that she fights and know her career she deserves every damn penny and she's deserve even more than what she's than what she's getting or 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 approached with I think people are blowing out of proportion ladies and gentlemen Nobody told Abel Sanchez, Triple G's ex-trainer. You remember Remember after the first fight and Abel Sanchez was saying, was uttering the same thing? Oh, he wasn't fighting the Mexican style fighting? Y'all remember that? Ain't nobody really had no problem with that. Ain't nobody really, oh my God, he needs to be out the corner. He's unprofessional. This is boxing. You do whatever it takes. And if it takes the corner to get in your head, then that's what it is. That's what it is. It's fighting. It's me against you. So even if the trainer is, is, is screaming at, at, at a Mercado so she can switch up a style that eventually going to cater to Amanda Serrano's onslaught, then that's what he's going to do. It's a mental and a physical game. Now a lot of people may not like it, you don't have to like it. This is the comeback world. There is no rules. There is no rules, ladies and gentlemen. So because now these are ladies, I think people are trying to turn this into a sexist thing. How could he talk like that to Mercado? Oh my God, he's a man and he's a this and she's a woman. I understand where we at in this world today. I understand where we at in this world today. 
I'm not saying that it might not be unpleasant to the ears because people are not used to it. Huh? People are not used to it. And maybe people are saying, yo, they didn't, man, come on, she had it in the bag. She didn't even have to, he didn't even have to say anything or press it. But it's boxing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's boxing. It is what it is. It is what it is. Let's not act like we're 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 all saints here. We pay to watch people beat each other up. Let's not act like we're some saints around here now. Come on, man. It's boxing. You pay. You pay to see two humans go at one in, one another. Basically beat each other up. Want to witness people harming others. This is this is what we like. So please save all the BS and save all that pettiness and save all that softiness. If you do not like this combat sport, do not watch. It is what it is. This is not Phantom of the Opera. This is not uh um you know uh uh the NBA where you say something and you and the coach get a technical foul. Sorry, no, it's not. It's boxing. Female or male is boxing, it's combat sport. So I understand Mercado, she may feel a little tight. She may feel like a little disrespected by the verbal onslaught. At the end of the day, this is boxing, mama. And not everybody gonna be your friend. And not anybody gonna pity you if you take an ass whooping. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that people don't respect what you do for a living. Or anything like that. Yeah, sometimes be like, man, look at this asshole. Yeah, he could be an asshole, but this is boxing, though. You feel what I'm trying to say? People got it twisted. Oh my God, I don't like it. I don't. Uh, it's her corner and stuff. Like, shut the hell up. It's boxing. The guys in the corner probably got more lip in, than 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 the fighter himself. Look at Ghost Guerrero's dad. Look at Angel Garcia's dad. I mean, um, 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 Danny Garcia, Angel Garcia, Crazy Angel. Look at Flo Mayweather Senior. He going at it with, with Conor McGregor and all the fighters. You eat shit. <laughs> all that stuff. When Freddie Rose tell Flo Mayweather you don't fight toe to toe, you running. It's the same shit, bro. It's the same shit what Abel Sanchez was saying to Canelo Alvarez. It's the same thing what Freddie Woods is saying to Floyd Mayweather that he ran, that he ran, he ran, and all that stuff. It's the same stuff, bro. It's the same to Casimero. Casi, look, Casimero. Um, John Gibbons was screaming, was screaming at Rickon Dow, stop running, you're checking, stop running, all that stuff. It's the same thing as boxing, ladies and gentlemen. It's damn boxing. And you people right now that's complaining and bitching about, oh my God, Jordan Maldonado, oh my God, he's so unprofessional and stuff. It's boxing. Get the fuck out of my damn sport, bro. Lord have mercy. All these betaness, man, in this society is getting me damn sick. It's sickening already. Stop with the betaness. Why everybody's turning so soft? Oh my God! He died. Yeah, yeah, yo, Lord, my goodness gracious! How could he say that? We're gonna write a letter into the, the Cleveland, Ohio Commission and tell him, oh my God, he said these things to me. Oh my God! Please stop! Stop, man! I don't know. I have a different perspective, y'all. I have a different perspective. I'm not saying that your perspective is wrong. I just feel like, man, this society, my God, this PG shit. It's like everybody's so damn softy now, yo. And, oh, no. Punch, punch. You got to be respectful. Remember, it's a gentleman's sport. Well, it's a gentleman's sport now. Why do you think, why do you think people want to see Jake Paul now? Because he talks shit, right? Why, why, why Flo Mayweather? Why you wanting to win this Flo Mayweather? Because he talks shit, right? 
ओ हमरा लीड सॉक्स है तो एबारी सॉक्स है कम ऑन मैन कम ऑन Y'all just trying to switch this up because y'all trying to make this into a sexist thing and say how could how could she dare talk like that to a woman? And now the other team is capitalizing on it. Mercado, great fighter, hell of a hell of a heart, hell of a heart. But that doesn't mean anybody gonna pity you after the fight, mama. You know, and that's it. You know, it is what it is. We get tight as fans when a fighter promotes that they're gonna do something or they're gonna approach a fight certain way, and we criticize the fighter. Right? We do it. They do it as well. It, it, it's, it's just combat sports, man. I'm gonna give y'all two tickets to Carnegie Hall so y'all can watch some, some. Symphony or something like that Because it seems like y'all don't know what the hell y'all watch Not everybody here is friends, man Not everybody here is friends <laughs>